time you're knitting in the round, meaning you're joined in the round and knitting a tube, you're essentially knitting a giant spiral, <clears throat> which means that when you bind off, you end up with the end of a spiral where things don't quite line up. I'm going to demonstrate how to finish the bind off, um, how to do a bit of finishing work on the bind off row to even that out and to make it smooth, which looks much better on the cuffs of sleeves or the bottom of a hat where you don't have a jog there. I've demonstrated this in tutorials before, but I have never demonstrated it in a short technique video, and many thanks to Green Eyes on Ravelry, her name is Laura, for suggesting it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the work. Okay, I have, usually I, I try to make my um, samples really exaggerated so you can see things. I didn't have to exaggerate this. This is exactly how bad it looks. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, but if you want it to be tidy, we can certainly do better than this. This is the bind off row. Here's my tail end, and here is the giant jog between the first bind off stitch and the last. You can see this bind off, um, the last bind off stitch is, is a row above the first bind off stitch, and we can smooth those out and make them look a lot better. So I saved a little bit of tail. I have my tapestry needle. I have to weave this end in anyway, right? So I'm here and I'm going to take a look at the bind off row. It is a series of V's running this way all the way around. And I have this, the, um, the first bind off stitch over here on this side, the last one over here where the tail is attached. I'm going to skip the first, um, it's not even the first bind off stitch, it's the first stitch going up into the first bind off stitch and go under both legs of the second stitch that I see. Now don't get too caught up in this. We're going to pull this through and see how it looks and if it doesn't look the way I want it to, I can undo it and look at it again. So don't email me and say, should I do the first one that looks kind of like this or the second one looks kind of like this? Try both. See which one looks better. That's how I always do it because different gauges kind of call for different things. Not kind of, different things look different in different yarns and weights. So I pull that under both legs. This is going to look good. And then I'm going to go back down into the same hole this yarn came out of. So I'm essentially creating a new V, which should run right in line with everything with the rest of the bind off row. And would you look at that? That looks great. I did end up, and this happens especially with bulkier yarn, with a tiny hole right under the um, stitch I just made. And that is not a problem because as soon as I go to weave in that end, that was enough to close up that hole or to fill it, fill it so it doesn't look like it's so empty anymore. And look how beautiful that is. Easy technique makes a huge difference in your finished work. The, how do we say this? Tidy bind off in circular knitting. Thank you.